normally when they get behind, they shut up real quick. So I really got to give them props. I mean, even even when I got taken out, they're yelling bye at me. So I give them a nice little wave and, uh, and some other stuff because it was impressive that you can you can chirp at someone after you shoved it up your ass for seven and two thirds innings. Okay, we are on our way to play catch with Tyler Malley. Got to find a park that has some grass, maybe difficult down here, and then get some catch played, get back to the hotel, shower up, get ready for the day, and go find some food, and then get to work. Wildberry juice. Big fan. Not a bad view from the room at all. Beautiful day here in Chicago. I'm gonna get some work done now, and then I'm gonna go walk around the lake later before sunset. We're gonna film a little bit of YouTube content right now. Gotta do a couple breaking points, and I gotta write a couple things out for a couple of my other entities. So get that done. It is 2.30 right now. So I'm gonna spend about two and a half hours working and then we're gonna go for a walk. Oh, I'm writing out some uh, documentation for next version of 4-App and integrating some hitter tools and stuff like that. Integrating some hair tools? Hitter tools. Some of them, there's one that's on the media thing that I was talking to you about. That looks fun. Uh, not as many boats out as there were earlier today, probably because it's a little bit chilly and it's almost nighttime, but after coming from Pittsburgh and seeing everyone on the river, Labor Day weekend, and then today being Labor Day, seeing everybody out on the boat, it just makes me, makes me jealous. I don't go out on the boat very much, but it just looks so nice. Get some cold drinks, get some food, hang out with friends. <laughs> so fun fact about me, I am scared of heights. Uh, so while this looks very pretty, being up there, and getting stuck up there is like a very big fear of mine. I have ridden Ferris wheels before and the views are kind of cool but they pale in comparison to my fear. So I have no interest in going up on that Ferris wheel. Pretty sick view from here, Navy Pier. A lot of people I'm sure are familiar with it. Pretty popular and noteworthy spot but First time I've walked over here at night, so it's new to me. 420 East Ohio. Hi, Clev. Fun day so far. Water was beautiful. Navy Pier is cool. I'm gonna frogger it real quick. Hopefully I don't get hit crossing. Whoop, nope. Well, good afternoon. It is like two o'clock. I slept late. It's ugly outside. Actually, it's just starting to rain right now. It's supposed to rain all damn day. So I don't know if we're playing today or not. Thank you. Good, thank you. Thank you. They have this room here? Where am I? Farmer, Gray, De Leon. Has anyone seen Bowers Locker? There I am. Trevor, do you, what, do you, what do you think about facing Darvish again? You kind of talked about it the last the last time you were hoping you'd get that chance. Well, now that you do, just what are your thoughts going into tomorrow? Yeah, I'm pumped. It's a, it, a matchup with someone who's on a roll like he's on, um, and also someone that I, that I respect and have looked up to for a long time. Um, it's, it's fun. It, it demands... It demands excellence, right? Like I'm not going to be able to have a good start and win. I'm going to need an excellent start to win. So 
uh, higher pressure, higher stakes, um, bigger consequences. That's what I live for. What a beautiful day here in Wrigley. Today sucks. Well, you all know the drill. For the 800th time this year, Reds lose. Three nothing, five hits. Never threatened all night. Just a thorough ass kicking. I pitch tomorrow, so hopefully it's better then. Well, it's an ugly ass day in Chicago. Fully expect some delays tonight during the game. Something to interrupt my routine. It seems to happen to me a lot here in Chicago. I actually have a long history of that. Nonetheless, it is start day. Uh, matching up with Darvish later tonight. Oh, is that do Darvish pitching? So, tonight's the rubber match. It's gonna be like a one nothing game, I feel like, hopefully. Hopefully we come out on the right side of it. But uh, wind blowing in, not a whole lot of homers. I don't give, a, give up a whole lot of uh, runs unless I give up Homer, so that fares pretty well for me. Hopefully. That's what I'm that's what I'm telling myself anyway. Okay, thank you. Pickles, what's up? I've been part of two 22 game winning streaks. One with the Indians? One with the Indians and one in college. And guess who took the loss on game 23 both times? You did? Your boy. Kurt! 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 Come on! Are you, uh... I prefer to give up one or less runs and punch out ten or more. I need to beat Darvish. set to work looking for his eighth consecutive win beat Trevor Bauer three nothing on a doubleheader day August 29th in Cincinnati okay before we do a recap of the game because there's a lot to talk about <sighs> worst part of the night I gotta go sit 15 minutes in a cold tub Ugh, it's gonna suck <laughs> Well, I guess since I'm the last one here, I can give a quick little tour of what we got here. This whole area you see back here that our lockers are set up in for social distancing is normally, uh, I think it was a bar. This is our training room. We got this whole big area, which is nice. Lockers over there. We got back-to-back -back lockers over here. There's an elevator there to the concourse. And then coach's locker room's there. Manager's Hi. office there. And then this is normally the uh, the player's locker room here. So, uh, all the coaches are in here right now, socially distanced. But uh, when I first started coming here, actually, it was not nearly this big. And fun stuff is uh, we're actually right above the concourse. They added this wall right here. This used to be an open staircase. You could look straight down on the concourse and see like all the fans and stuff on the concourse. There was a time when playing practical jokes on fans was pretty funny. You can get some seeds or something like that and like toss them over the stairs and let them rain down on people and they'd have no idea where they're coming from. Down there to the cages and the dugout. And over here is the concourse. So right down there you go to the field and then this is, this is the concourse. So usually fans walk out in this area. These are concession stands and stuff like that right there. But uh, right now we got weight room and stuff like that down here since no fans this year. So that's the, that's the visiting players Wrigley tour. Okay, so finally made it back to the hotel. So let's recap the game tonight. Uh, come out in the first inning, Darvish walks two guys, which I don't think he's walked more than one in a while. I can't remember the last time he walked back to back guys. And then Moose catches breaking a, a ball, breaking ball and hits the three run home. Into one right center field. Bye -bye. Moose. So right away, I take the mound up three nothing. 
and I was having a lot of trouble before the game kind of getting in the right mindset. I was like low on motivation for some reason. I couldn't like, I just felt too relaxed and, and not, not into it at all. But when Moose hit the three run homer and I had a three run lead that, that like finally locked me in. I was like, okay, I got three runs. I'm going to make this stand up. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to get three tonight. So went out there, um, had a good first inning, uh, cruised pretty much through the through the first four and at the end of the night going seven and two-thirds uh, ten strikeouts no walks one hit by pitch three hits no runs so overall good night but uh, the Cubs are notorious for chirping at people so they, they got their little dugout celebrations and their dugout chants and they're yelling at the pitcher and and celebrating and all this different stuff which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. So they decided they were going to yell at me all night. Well, I decided to yell back a little bit. So there's a, a, a bat with Ian Happ. And I got to say, I, I enjoy Ian. I don't have any problem with him. We've spoken a couple different times. I think he's a great dude from what I know of him. But in the in the course of competition, you know, things get, things get a little out of hand sometimes. So I threw him a cutter down and in, and he chucked two, his two swing. Again. and Peel, um, bring him up. The third base umpire punched him out, and so he yelled, No! F***! And so as I was walking off the field, I decided to yell, Yes! F***! Because their, their whole dugout was yelling at me all night, so I decided to yell at him. And then he looked at me, because he wasn't expecting me to say anything. And then I looked at him and told him, Let's go! And then the umpires started getting in the middle and, Knock it off! Knock it off! So... Props to the umpires for doing their job. That's exactly how they should have handled it. And then, so I ended up striking out Ian three times tonight. So I, I won that battle. Let's see, Rizzo last time got me for two homers. Uh, so I made that adjustment. Got him to dribble back to the mound, pop up to the catcher. I don't remember the... Oh yeah, I froze him on a, a fastball down and away. Strike so that was a good one. On the outside corner to Anthony Rizzo. Um, <laughs> Javi said something kind of... Kind of funny to me as he's running by the mound, but I can't share that yet till after the season. Uh, so overall, a, a good night. Um, Darvish really turned it around. He's throwing two seams that were moving like 20 inches horizontally. I was looking at those things on Pitching Ninja. Those things are nuts. Moving like literally, literally more than across the plate from where it started to where it ends at 96. Just unbelievable. So his stuff was nasty. I think he punched out nine or ten or something like. I don't know. There's a lot of strikeouts tonight. So I end up. Leaving the game seven and two thirds uh, with man on first and third, I'd given up two two hits uh, in the eighth, and Lucas Sims comes on. So when David came out to pull me out, someone in the Cubs dugout yelled "Bye," uh, and so I looked over in the Cubs dugout and I waved to him because if they're saying "Bye," I guess I should wave "Bye," uh, and then I grabbed my nuts at him, and then walked off the field. And then in the post-game presser, I decided to tell the press exactly what I thought, which was, man, you can... <laughs> it's, it's honestly impressive that you can sit there and chirp someone after they've shoved it up your ass for seven and two-thirds innings. So props to them on doing that and being consistent with the chirping all night. Normally, when you get down and someone's dominated you, it's really hard to, to chirp. You, you find something inside yourself that tells you, maybe this isn't the best idea right now. But they, they did not find that inside them, and they were consistent all night. Um, so they took the L. They can fly the L tonight. But overall, a great night. But I still haven't eaten after the game. So I'm going to crush some food right now, sit in my Normatec, and recover while I eat, and then try to get some sleep, even though I'm still wired. So it's probably not going to go well. Uh, however, I think we have a night game tomorrow. I got to check the schedule, because if we have a day game tomorrow, I'm in big trouble. So that was the night. In my haste to leave the field, I forgot to grab silverware. I want to give a big shout out to Fuzzy from YouTube. In his intro tomorrow, I'm going to zoom into my shirt and tell people to go follow me and entice them with a bag giveaway. So shout out to you, Fuzzy. Appreciate you. Also, if you haven't followed Fuzzy on YouTube already, you should go do that.